we'll get underway. Uh, we'd like to welcome Harry Hall into the interview room here at the 2024 Shriners Children's Open. Harry, this is your um, your, your uh, fourth appearance at TPC Summerlin. Um, you've had some pretty good finishes here, like top 25, I think, each time, close to it anyway. Um, just what do you like about this golf course that suits your game? Well, I know every inch of the place, you know, um, where to hit it, where not to hit it, and I think I'm so familiar on the greens here and know how they roll and um, where all the brakes are and all that sort of stuff, yeah. So obviously, you know, went to school here, um, spent a lot of time here and obviously played here a lot. What, what Playing at home when you have a lot of support, how different is that from any other tour event that you play? Really nice, yeah, just to, uh, you know, I think when you're out there you're so focused, but just looking in the crowds and you know, seeing your family and seeing your friends uh, just feels like there's an extra bit of, uh, you know, encouragement to play good. You uh, you got your first victory on the PGA Tour earlier this uh, this year in Kentucky. Uh, it was a dramatic finish, <laughs> yeah. five-man playoff. Just uh, talk about that a little bit and what it did for you going forward in your career. Yeah, it was awesome. After the, the win, I played a couple of events just a few weeks after and went back to the UK and played the Irish Open, the British Masters, and um, the BMW at Wentworth, and that was great to take my little baby girl back there to meet the family, and um, also to play some of the cool events that I grew up watching, and play in front of a, a ho actual home crowd, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think this maybe feels more like home, you know, playing in Vegas now than it, than it did playing in England, but... Um, yeah, super excited to, to play in front of uh, a lot of friends and family this week. And what's the plan going forward for you now that you you have status on both tours? Um, what do you think your schedule will look like in the coming year or two? Yeah, I think it just depends how you know hot my start is you know, to start the new season in 2025. And mm -hmm. if I can play good early, then I can uh, look at maybe playing more of an international schedule early. But I think... You know, I love what I did this year, going over to play those events, and maybe I'll play a few more towards the end of the year, hopefully. And um, yeah, goal right now though is to finish as high up on the FedEx Cup as I can. Okay. Do you have any questions for Harry? Raise your hand, and we'll get you a microphone. We'll take one from Jimmy over here. Hey, Harry. Um, obviously, amazing win back at the ISCO Championship. Um, played in a couple events since then. Do you? Notice any difference in your confidence or just the way that you carry yourself after getting your first win on the PGA Tour? Yeah, I think uh, since the win and, you know, the couple of weeks leading up to it and um, playing in tournaments since then, I think my the level of my golf has been really high and I think, uh, you know, I've showed that just with the, the positions I've been in going into the weekends and the final days and I haven't quite finished them off and I think uh, my expectations might be a little bit too high, but my golf's definitely there. So I think this week I need to kind of control, you know, my emotions a little bit and maybe set my standards a little lower going into the last day, and hopefully that will make me relax a little more and make some birdies. So, um, yeah, my golf since, since the win's been really good, just as good as it probably was that week. And if I can match my mindset and just my game management, then I think I'll I'll be contending here in the next few weeks. So you feel like the game's in the right spot? It's just more of a the mental approach that is uh, what you're working on right now? Yeah, I just when I went back to the UK, you know, at the Belfry there, I was, I think, in the final three groups going into the last day, and or well, definitely the Saturday. And then um, Wentworth, same thing. Um, last week in Utah, same thing. So um, I haven't quite had strong Sundays. So if I can have a strong Sunday in the next few weeks and play the same quality golf, then I'll be looking at maybe winning another one. Anyone else? Alex? Hello, Alex Eshelman, uh, reporter at Channel 13 here in town. What did you learn from your time at UNLV that you've taken into your professional career now? Yeah, lots. Um, my coaches at the time were Philip Rowe, who was from the same place as me back in England, and Coach Knight, who's a legend in this town, and um, I think I learned everything, you know, coming over at 18 years old, going straight from England to 
America and Las Vegas is quite the place. Um, you know, just playing Shadow Creek and Southern Highlands and Spanish Trail every day and, um, you know, TPC here and playing the courses that we played and the schedule that we played around the States and learning from Coach Knight and Phil Rowe about the game and about how to manage life and then the academics that, you know, college throws at you. I think I learned the whole package. Thank you. Sorry, just a little extra noise there from a refrigerator close by. Harry, um, you say you're a big fan of the Knights and the, and the Raiders. You're a good sports fan. Do you, can we expect to see any of those guys following you this week on the golf course? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, yeah. I, I know they all love golf, and they're going to follow me and probably everyone else in the field. Um, I met a couple of Raiders yesterday who, you know, like like the game and uh, uh, got one of their numbers. So I'm sure we'll play some golf down the line. And um, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure you'll see a few out here this week. And just um, touch on the, the importance of this tournament with the uh, the Shriners ambassadors uh, and the kids that you see during the week, and how important that is for them and for you to, to be here playing this tournament to benefit them. Yeah, I, you know, anything that I can do for the tournament because I received an exemption here a few years back and that was instrumental in, you know, my career as a pro golfer just to, you know, even see the couple kids today that hit a few shots and it's amazing how, you know, how serious their lives are and the difference it makes to have the Shriners in their lives and they're able to swing a club after you know, their surgeries and stuff like that. So it's absolutely amazing what the Shriners do. How much inspiration does that give you when you're out on the golf course? Yeah. I mean, just I think it makes me feel how lucky I am to play the game and be healthy. And, you know, I think about my my girl, Lila, and, you know, hopefully she can stay healthy. And um, it's nice now with the connections that I've got in this town and this tournament and, Hopefully she'll never need them, but if she does, then I'm sure, you know, the doors will be open for her too. And um, yeah, just fortunate enough to to be healthy. Well, good luck the rest of the season in the FedEx Bowl, and um, play good this week. Thank you. Thanks, Harry.